Hi everybody, uh, this is a very very quick one um, again about uh, MPDM version 4 and the ESP basic uh, software uh, usage. Um, because uh, somebody just uh, asked me um, about the um, uh, voltage uh, control uh, input and about the um, acceptable levels of the voltage control and what's happening when you are going uh, out of the uh, let's say accepted uh, voltage control domain uh, I was thinking that it might be a very good idea to um, uh, just do a short video and um, explain it a little bit on the oscilloscope um, so basically what's happening uh, if you remember from last time we have a very very short and simple program here uh, we can enter our brightness level that is going from 0 to 890 and this thing is uh, corresponding uh, to a voltage level from 0 to 2.8 volt yeah so um, as I said uh, 890 it's basically uh, considered the the maximum uh, safe level for switching off your light bulb and if we are looking here on the oscilloscope you can see uh, with yellow the the driver uh, triac uh, output command and uh, as you can see we have a duty cycle around 95 percent for uh, brightness value of uh, 890 yeah uh, this is the as I said the, the, the safest upper value uh, we can go probably a little bit uh, further let's try 900 uh, 900 now will give us a duty cycle about uh, 97 percent um, yeah probably even further a bit 910 no yeah this is what I want to show you so now with 910 we are out of the defined domain so basically our voltage control input voltage is higher than the acceptable domain and uh, what's happening it's very simple the the duty cycle went over and now the the triac it's uh, drive in a very very hectic mode and is no more properly synchronized with the phase control signal yeah so let's go back to our uh, 900 as you can see here duty cycle is back 97% uh, for the PWM input signal we have a duty cycle of 88% frequency as I said it's one kilohertz this is the signal generated uh, from the ESP uh, A266 uh, using the ESP basic yeah and uh, let's try to to see also our uh, light bulb you can see light bulb it's uh, off uh, now uh, let's go a little bit down uh, let's choose one 850 for 850 as you can see now we have a very very dim light bulb and the signal duty cycle for the output signal it's 84 uh, percent duty cycle for the input signal signal it's uh, again around 84 uh, percent I'm going down 
a little bit now you can see here on the reflection the light is becoming uh, higher the duty cycle is reducing now we have around 63 uh, percent on the output and the duty cycle on the input is 72 percent even lighter duty cycle is going down 37 38 percent duty cycle for the input signal it's around uh, 54 percent yeah and let's go straight to zero in case of zero as you can see here we have uh, the input signal obviously zero and the duty cycle it's actually over yeah so if we want to catch here a very very short small duty cycle uh, we need to generate here a very very small PWM signal when I mean small I mean in duty cycle so um, maybe a 20 yeah something like that so this is a PWM generated with a duty cycle of uh, around 3% and uh, the output of the driver it's also with a duty cycle of, of um, about three percent yeah so uh, let's increase it a bit uh, input duty cycle around six percent output duty cycle about seven yeah? percent so if you are keeping your uh, let's say um, brightness value between uh, maximum uh, value that it's zero uh, maximum value I mean in terms of brightness 100% it's zero uh, and a safe 880 890 value depends also on your light bulb and the type of the light bulb and uh, the load but basically it's somewhere here around 880 890 that it's corresponding with the 2.8 volt that actually this driver it's it set it up everything should uh, should work as you can see very nice and and smooth in case of going out of the of the acceptable defined domain uh, you will find out very very quick because the the light bulb will be drived in a, in a very strange hectic way uh, it will look more like a strobe light yeah so uh, i really hope that uh, this very very quick answer uh, uh, this quick one answering uh, it's answering uh, on your question so uh, that's it for now uh, if you like it please give me a big thumbs up and uh, see you next time